And we're back. Omega versus Lore. Awesome. Go look into this just a little bit. And these two just fought like an hour ago in uh, winners round three. Omega won two to two zero. I don't think it was that close. Like Lore, Lore had some stuff, but Omega, you know, Omega's Omega. Uh, number four in the state at the moment. Probably more like number six or seven, but. I am alas. looking at the set count. It is actually two to one. Uh, in Omega's favor. Yeah. Lure has beaten him. Um, you don't seem to play too often. Um, this was uh, some time ago. I don't know which uh, bracket this yeah. was. So Omega's now 3-1. Oh my god, I'm switching to Squirtle. Omega barely not getting that punish. And Omega on the verge of Arsene here. And Arsene Joker can really, really get Ivysaur in a twist. Uh, I mean, that's just the way that, that Joker's hitboxes are like Ivysaur. Oh my god, almost getting that up smash, but you know, not getting the roll timing quite right. And that's barely not going to send Omega to the blast zone, you know. We're definitely going to see one of the things that, you know, is a little bit more interesting with this matchup is that Bulbasaur, or not Bulbasaur, Ivysaur is one of the few characters that can contest Joker recovery. And how good it is is only, you know, you still get two frame by that down air regardless, all the same. It's more about how potent the down air that you get. Mm -hmm. Oh, and that Omega drag down is not quite going to work, but he reads the spot dodge on the run up more. Swapping back to charts. Yeah, surely we go back to Squirtle here. I figured. We're here at 2 2. Well, That's going to be an SD. Omega takes the jump with the gun. I guess it was kind of like a forced SD, but takes the jump with the gun and kills Lore with jumpless at such an early percent. Probably could have made it back with Charizard, but you know, not quite having the awareness there. Lure at Right there, I actually got a little bit greedy, and the reason why we're in this position is because he was trying to go for a Nair up air, and the up air was too delayed that it actually ended up catching him in the landing lag, and now he's getting, you know, we're here at the end of all the, you know, punish game that Omega ended up bringing him just for uh, mistiming an up air more accurately, really. Yeah, we went from, like, a relatively close game to what looks like a blowout in, like, 30 seconds. Oh, my God, got into back is brutal. And we'll see if Lord's able to get this. This edge guard is so important. You at least keep him at the ledge here. He's going to get hit by the fire. Oh my god, beautiful back air. Where it has all the rage in the world to play with, but at least we're going to get rid of Arsene in the next couple seconds. And Lauren can, you know, maybe get a jab. And that's going to be a quick up smash. Auto make its jab. And now we've got a shot. Quickly we're back learning in that's one of Lord's favorite kill options. This is uh, letting you bait yourself into his uh, shield up smash. It's going to be a classic Omega drag down. 1 for Omega. Uh, God, that stock at like 10% was really rough. Omega just, you know, a master of all of his conversions. I think he ended up overwhelming Alora a little bit more than uh, he was expecting. I also low key think we use the term cheeser too derogatorily. I think that Omega has been cheesing a lot of stocks today. Like he, earlier, earlier he took Omega uh, Cola's. He, he got a backer on Cola after Cola used a double jump. Here he just barely got Lord's jump. I think that like when you recognize a habit and you exploit it for everything it's worth, and that ends up being a stock off of like one small read, it's a little cheesy, and that's not a that's not a big deal. <laughs> we, we 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 love a little bit of low effort uh, conversions take advantage of. Not all reads are made equal. Hey man, my favorite food is mac and cheese, so don't oh, ever yeah. come catch me complaining about cheese. And right now, Omega kind of playing from the ledge a little bit, trying to make Laura a little more impatient. And right now, it's almost paying off. Oh my god. Omega stuck at, not stuck at the ledge at all, just playing patient, knowing what he's going to do, an option, not mixing up the tempo enough. That's going to be a down air into back air. Classic Arsene Joker stuff. We're back on Squirtle. I would love to see Laura uh, uh, try to use this Charizard just a, a, a smidge more, especially against, uh, I guess against Arsene Joker, you don't want to get super comboed to death, but. I think he's just, you know, it is what it is, and he's just not comfortable. Calling out the. Oh. That was a zero to death. Like, that Arsene just took two stocks for Omega. That's. I think what Laura was trying to aim for is that, you know, 
this was patched a while ago, but uh, what ended up happening is that, you know, the more you beat on uh, Arsene, the more uh, faster he drains away. Right. With Joker, you know, you, uh, not Joker, with Squirrel, you end up getting those, you know, tiny hits rack up one by one. Hopefully, you know, trying to delete, you know, especially Arsene, but it really just ended up biting him. Uh, we were getting red when he wanted to do his Pokemon swap, and that ended up costing him, you know, really his second stock. And if, if Omega gets Arsene here, Lord's at kill percent, just straight up. Uh, trying to go for the infinite, unable to. Now he's just at kill percent anyway. Oh, but that reverse up is going to take it for Lori. We'll see if he's able to make these comeback. I've seen people come back from worse, but it is going to be hard. Oh and my nope, god, just holding just Rebel Guard. Just grab! And that was four? That was like five, I think. I don't know, it takes so long for so little damage. And again, this is this is a difficult comeback to surmount. You're gonna have to take every stock and just destroy our sin here. Hopefully Lurie is just and right now he's doing a good job. He's playing right outside of Omega's threat range. Oh my god. And Going again, that up smash misses. You know, it makes me question, you know, does that up smash actually hit? Because, you know, try to go for it twice, it looks visually like it does. Oh, it definitely does. It definitely does hit. He just isn't timing it for the roll. It's a very slow move. Uh, so he's like timing it preemptively and he's just not lining up with, with the reads, unfortunately. It is what it is. Omega takes it 2-0, and now we're going to see Omega versus uh, Mugen. Mugen, classic. Classic, now, classic, classic. Well, we ended up seeing uh, with Omega versus Pola. I mean, Omega wasn't doing too bad. He was 